Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can set the image as a background in your Android app. Now there are basically two methods of setting an image as a background inside your Android app. In the first method you have to write a suitable code inside this text tab and in the second method we have to choose the relative layout from the component tree. Now in this video I'll show you both the methods. So first let me show you how you can set the image as a background by writing code in the text tab. But before we start with any of that method, okay, the first thing that you should know is that inside the app folder and after that inside the res folder you have one folder by the name of drawable. Now inside this drawable folder you have to put all the images that you will require inside the android app. So I have created one image according to the screen size by the name of engineer's dream and it's a jpeg image so i'll just copy this and next i'll paste it inside the drawable folder now this is basically asking me to save the image inside the drawable folder so i'll just click ok once i press ok the image is stored inside the drawable folder and the name of the image is engineer's dream so next i'll go to the text tab now inside the text tab as you can see I have this line which says android colon background now currently the background is set to the hex value abcdef now instead of the hex value since I want an image to appear what I'll do is I will just delete this hash abcdef then I'll write at the rate drawable Slash. Now inside the drawable folder I have one image by the name of engineer stream so after the slash I'll write down engineer stream and after that if I go to the design tab you can see over here the image or the background image is set to the engineer stream image which I have set so that's one way of how you can set a background image now let me show you the other method for that I'll again change this to abcdef okay so I've set this to ABCDEF again I go to the design tab you can see the color is blue again now this time for the second method what I'll do is inside the component tree first I'll choose the layout so it's very much important to choose the layout currently the layout is relative layout and once you choose the layout next you can see at the bottom all the properties of the layout have been listed and out of all these properties now this properties that you see are the properties for the relative layout similarly if i click on the text view you will see all the properties of the text view for the button all the properties belong to the button at the bottom okay so please make sure that from the component tree you choose the relative layout itself so once i choose a relative layout next over here i'll search for an option which says background so you can see currently in the background the background is set to abc def so i'll select this over here I'll cancel this line and next you can see the three dots over here okay so I'll click on this three dots after that I'll get this resource tab now from the resource tab I'll go inside the project tab now in the project tab I'll first minimize this color folder next I'll click on the drawable folder and I'll start typing engineer's dream now there is no search box over here you just need to click on the folder and you need to start typing the image name so you can see over here the engineer's dream option has come so i'll select this and then i'll click ok so once i click ok you can see over here the background is set to drawable slash engineer's dream and you can see over here the image is again set as the background for the android app so guys this is how you can set any image as the background for your android app so guys that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how you can set a background image for this button component so in the meantime if you like this video please click on the like button and as again if you want to learn android from scratch please click on the subscribe button thank you guys and i'll catch you in the next video